cares really good uh, volleyball soccer ball is active forever so it's can be a little bit tough to mess with yeah see, but zane's this, aware of all of that yeah see this I mean, matchup right yeah. here is exactly why house of 3000 was the house of palu for a while y'all play these weird ass characters all the goddamn time <laughs> you play palu you just snare and you stop it all you got back airs you got ways to beat people but right now we're not seeing any of palutina the goddess is currently chilling in the background watching in the stands like everybody else and what we're watching as this match begins uh you can already see zane's got the right idea you put can at a spot above the platform for two reasons. One, you possibly cl a clank with header. Two, you possibly clank with sun salutation. Three, you keep Louis from one of the jump. So you keep them stuck in the corner. So your clay pigeons are a bit easier and you can possibly find some grabs if Louis makes a mistake. Yeah, and like Zane has been hard focused on catching jumps in the early part of this game. Uh, most of the time when they're looking to start something or approaching with a jump, they're going for short hop up air to try and catch Louis in midair like this, which is, you know, fair. Jumping's pretty good in this game. Frame three jump squat universally. You kind of teleport into the air sometimes. But that doesn't yeah, always work against a character and against a player who's really confident in how in placing their tilts. And if there, we knew anything from last game, or from last that we saw Louis Jesus, uh, just dropping down with F tilt mm -hmm. is kind of his specialty at this point. <laughs> yeah, and it's something I'm really liking out of Louis. After he realized that the ledge game was not like too comfortable, he's been able to hold like a solid lead here at 150. But there's so much stuff in Duck Hunt's toolkit that it makes it easy to keep you from playing the ledge game. So what do you do? You get them to play with you in center stage where Duck Hunt has severely worse kill options and you find that F tilt. Ooh, you're at 90. You're at 90. Watch out for the deep yoga man. Uh, yeah, woman. yeah. Can, can we just point out the fact that this is one of those characters where you don't know where the hell that 90% came from, but that last hit of that up air came in. Like, we Fit has such surprising burst damage that people just do not seem to understand. Like, this character, deep breathing aside, can still just rack up damage just passively in a way that you don't expect. But when deep breathing is on deck, you sit there, fall asleep at the wheel. It's like, how am I kill percent? <laughs> I mean, there's a reason that Zane has been like DIing up in a way and mashing jump out of situations because getting caught on one of these platforms is a recipe for disaster. Mm -hmm. I oh guess my God. So, <laughs> the so header the ball trajectory. Hey, look, I, hey, wait, hold up. Hold up. This dog don't know what he's doing. Like, that's a header. That's literally saying, go fetch the ball, and Duck Hunt <laughs> dropped it. Like, how are you going to drop the ball like that? This is literally your entire existence as a dog. <laughs> it's just supposed to... Anyways, so uh, Zane currently hugging the wall underneath, trying to find himself some room to work with. Unfortunately, no. got a little bit too far under there after the wall jump in, couldn't find a way back. And uh, Louis was just standing on top of him, too. Like, I'm going to keep winning downers and, and, and headers out. One of these things is going to spike you. So, I mean, like, look at this. Accidentally went off stage, went down, hugged the wall, so you could go ahead and get yourself reset, right? But you get hit a few times, and then Louis could just keep dropping off, putting out down airs, reverse F, uh, forward airs. Actually, didn't even do it. Just the, the presence of existing made it so Zane had to wait a second before they could try and go back to the stage. And SD. So, that, yeah, that happens. The runoff dare to begin with was super risky and granted a risk worth taking being down, uh, you know, being down a stock, you want to try and push that advantage. And we do oh. see a different character. Oh, now, this... I, I, I like this idea. I like this idea a lot. Um, now, granted, you kind of need to play a bit late um, because that's fine. Yeah, like like it's it, it, it off the rip. You're like, oh, OK, you know, Sephiroth's got range, right? I can just swing. No. Nah! necessarily uh we, we fit will for one capitalize on all that damage that they found got 66 already sephiroth is a paperclip or a little paperweight so he's gonna die super early to a majority of swings especially back around a shield so you have to play in a range where you're throwing out good space aerials use those f tilts just like louis did <laughs> no sword needed just poke him right in the eyes this man's a cheater he's going straight for the eyepiece like that uh I, I like the way louis is breaking out his matchup already and i like the just the small things can go a long way when counterplaying sephiroth because one of the best tools in we fits arsenal in this matchup is her crouch she can duck mm -hmm. under things like f tilt under forward air under back air like the landing buttons that make you respect sephiroth Mm -hmm. she can just ignore <laughs> so louis gonna use that to his fullest advantage and if he's playing a trade game 
that's natively gonna favor we fit because that yep this Ooh. big old monster that was all right that, that was, you. okay that's nice. that, that was super <laughs> aggressive i like it in a in a closed environment don't do that too often <laughs> but uh i if i'm louis I'm not too scared of offstage play from Sephiroth even with that foreigner, except for when Wing is there. Because with Wing, it makes it easier for Zane to kind of bounce with you and follow you so you can get the edge guard. But prior to that, it's pretty easy for Louis to kind of dip. However, yeah. that move... It cheats. That, that move cheats. is actual cheat codes because it's Sephiroth. So <laughs> his man yeah. died is 62 after the hit, but Louis closed it out immediately. I'm loving the stupid stuff we're seeing already. <laughs> Yeah, scrap everything you know about most counters in this game. Sephiroth has the highest scaling of any counter. Higher than Arsene, higher than like Paolo. Well, Paolo kind of sucks. But, but regardless, it will kill. It will kill you with the lightest move at the earliest percent because that's just what it's built to do. Exactly. Kairos, go to bed. It's a work night, so uh, <laughs> it's time to go. <laughs> oh yeah, and that's what you that's what you don't do. That's what you don't do. But what I was talking about when uh you're sitting there fighting against Sephiroth, right? You're sitting there staring at Sephiroth and wing is one thing, right? But when you're that high, it's pretty easy for Sephiroth to go out there and go for that forward air. If I'm going for deep breathing, I'm doing it very high up. Or kind of similar to with Pyro before, I of course I don't have the, the replay thing up here. Uh, I put it away like a dummy. Hey, does this situation ah! look familiar, guys? Yeah, that is very similar to what happened with Pyro earlier. You're with in a range that's close enough to get hit by that forwarder, which is much closer than what you could do. So, yeah, uh, I'm doing it either in the blast zone or I am doing it uh, at a point where you already see Sephiroth has committed to jump. And he doesn't even need to commit to jump or... or well, he doesn't... In that situation, he does, but... If yep. you want to go low, if you want to try and get deep breathing in a cheeky way to make you make your opponent scared, Sephiroth's edge guarding game with Fair is bonkers. It reaches so far. It's a little bit more active than back air. Uh, has that extra tipper for extra mm -hmm. damage, and it yep. just it just covers all of that and more. And if you try to go low and get past that forward air, um, uh, Octo Slash can clean up just as well as any other move. True enough. Also, my apologies, Kairos, for that. I didn't know that that was going on for you. However, still going to bed. All right, so here we go into game number two. Uh, it's Kalos. Uh, this is a... I, I actually really like the stage here for Wii Fit because, for one, you have greater survivability. You have the ability to kind of hug the wall a bit and kind of chill around. Um, also, you have way more stage room off stage to not get mixed up the same way you did in that last talk. So it's going to be a bit annoying. Well, at the same time, you got the dumb, stupid low weight for Sephiroth. I'm not too mad because I can't believe Sephiroth's in this game. Uh, like, this is the character I wanted the most that I never thought would get in. But the man is carrying Master Moon. The Mo Master Moon is bigger than half the cast. Like, you should not weigh five pounds, and you're dead! Why'd you go off stage that low? <laughs> to, to be fair, Sephiroth does have one HP. So, like... I... Look, look. <laughs> Did that matter at all in any of the games? Oh. Uh, hey, I'll be coming in and giving uh, Zane an extra extra bit of time to play the game. But right now, this is completely Louis Jesus' game. Uh, I was saying everything that was good about Kalos for Wii Fit, but it doesn't even matter because Louis straight up just boxing Zane into oblivion. And Zane is kind of just saying, I am all dead. Yeah, I mean, he's going to have Wing for a, a real long amount of time now. Down two stocks and with 51. Like, he's going to hold Wing for a good while. But it's a matter of what you can do with it. Like, you can go off stage forever and... It's, Ooh, Thankfully, with these walls, uh, having the more, having Wii Fit's recovery be a little bit more linear instead of the slight weave it can do helps. Yeah, but it doesn't it? save. Ooh. It doesn't save you completely. All right, there you go. Octo Slash, you gotta get back. So one of the things that like, like Zane could definitely make a run back here, but the problem is after this stock is gone for Louis, one wing will be gone. So yep. there, it'll be back to a spot where you don't have one wing's clutch factor and the armor frames, the speed. Uh, you don't get it anyways, because back here... Oh, never mind. Never mind. Kalos coming in clutch. Kalos smile. Kalos smile. Smile. At your face for playing a character that's this dumb low weight. Even though I definitely play Sephiroth too. But I hate it. <laughs> All right, Abto is good, good position. You get a... Yeah, you, you're forced to air dodge here because of the orb. And Header gets uh, Louis high enough out of the way to reverse 
is Fortunes. Uh, you better watch that neutral get up because Sun Salutation's incoming. There it is. <laughs> so we're starting to see the utilization of the walls a lot better from uh, from Zane. Granted, he didn't really have a chance to, or they didn't really have a chance to early in the game because Louis just was on him, uh, on them at all times. Mm -hmm. But you can, you instead of having to force the spacing on a normal stage, you can go really deep and still stab that sword into the stage and watch him go. That was not the that was not the he's, punish. That was not that was not it. <laughs> you had an F tilt lined up. All right, so 180. Uh, Zane no longer has one wing, but because of that missed F tilt from before, as long as you can avoid a back air out of shield or an F tilt at the ledge, never mind. I didn't even get to finish the sentence before it happened. Uh, I had a legitimate shot to make a comeback, but that has pretty much been like the end all be all ledge trap coverage option that has netted Louis like a solid 60 plus percent of the KOs we've seen every time Louis's been on stream. <laughs> it's always been that same exact mix up. I'm telling you, all right, look, that I don't even mean to blow so this up active. for you, Louis, but this has been so strict. This has been the same thing. Look at this. Force him off stage, right? And then after you get him off stage, he does that. All right, I missed it, but he does the short hop forward air to keep you from jumping. And he has never once actually gone for sun salutation. He's always doing F tilt there. So uh, people can actually get away with buffered rolls because Louis never once covered it all night and it just keeps working. Granted, Eventually, you know, Louis will adjust and do a sun salutation at the ledge, but the amount of times that I've seen people die to that same mix-up has actually been kind of funny at this point. <laughs> I mean, if it just keeps working, why try and if it ain't counter- broke, why try it. to- yeah, why try to counterplay yourself? <laughs> you're right, you're right. F if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> if f is active for four frames, let it cover neutral getup and make them play around it. But we see him- we're going back to PS2, uh, switching- switching skin. Is all that really is uh, is apparent? We're gonna have to see a, maybe a little bit of a switch in play style because Louis has properly adapted from Duck Hunt brain to I mean, or anti Duck Hunt brain to anti Sephiroth brain, which is get in your face, make Sephiroth a bit uh, a little bit sluggish on some of his mm -hmm. more spacing moves. Uh, feel uh, feel sluggish actually. So yeah, I mean like it's almost uh it's almost canonical, right? Like you you just Played those last few matches, you worked out a big sweat, so you're forced to take off your shirt because it's getting hot in here, right? Uh, so yeah. <laughs> apparently, switching it off after these long sets and then decided, what well, with multiple wind jumps still available and an up B to just say, I don't need this stock anymore, and Zane free falls to the blast zone. So I'm gonna remove my analysis from this point forward. I don't know what to say after that. <laughs> yeah, like, can I get a toe you... screen for that one? <laughs> He may, he may have not had his third jump, but he absolutely had the octo slash. So he just, Zane said, "There you go." That's the thing. He actually did have the third jump because he ran. Uh, they ran off stage, did the jump into forward air. Right? You still had another jump after that. So the jump in after that. All right, but here, all right, it's, we're gonna stop, stop butchering Zane now. Uh, they, hey, you held shield. Yeah, sure. Short hop to F tilt is always the play. Looks like Zane is paying attention, caught on to that. Uh, now let's see what Louis does in response because once the mix up gets figured out, it's on the player to adjust to it. That time didn't even go for the forward air, just immediately tried to do the F tilt because he already noticed uh, that Zane kind of switched it up. The parry on deck is clutch, but I think uh, that flare might have been a little bit of misinput as it suffered, it sacrificed a lot of tempo and absolutely a lot of space. Letting Louis find his way back into center and eventually landing that back area. Miss inputs may not have an immediate effect, but oh boy, will they hurt uh, later down the line. Mm -hmm. Back, okay, it was back airs, back airs, it's time. I actually kind of like that delay from Zane that time because you've gone for a drop off forward air immediately every time, so kind of waited to see if maybe Louis would stall too. But you need a win at ledge right now. You, oh, there you go. Yep, there it is. Asking you shall receive. That happened earlier. Don't throw header above ledge when you're within range to get countered. Skintilla's got uh, quite a mighty range. Does that count as a projectile? It doesn't matter in this matchup, but it does matter in some other ones. Though, 54 and climbing. Now is the time where you just kind of have to wait out deep breathing here. You got plenty of time in the clock. Sephiroth has lots of means to garner damage, mm -hmm. but you don't want to mess with oh. Wii Fit when they have deep breathing online. 
Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, that, oh if if Zane had uh, just chosen the right option there, uh, that was just the hindsight 2020 moment. But Zane had an amazing frame trap going there. Was able to get about 48. Couldn't really get much else. But one wing is on deck. The counters can at least keep uh, keep them alive a little bit longer. And then did not die to it. He's, but he's how many at this point, times? Right? Uh, uh, <laughs> see, there you go. Like. Look, forward air into. I look back. I look back on stream. It was forward air to F tilt again. That is always the setup. <laughs> All right, trying to go for the extra Sephiroth stuff, but Shadow Flare is great. It does a lot of things for the character. Having an autonomous projectile is really good. No complaints. But it's yes. just not. It's not enough hit stun to stop Luigi from holding that F tilt after roll get up. Yes, great job. Now, YouTube comments, don't yell at me for all this stuff I've been saying about Louis. I'm, speci I'm specifically <laughs> saying this for Louis's benefit because whenever I, whenever, <laughs> like, whenever I see as a player who's okay, but as a commentator, I'm pretty good at like looking at this stuff. I, I obviously, if I see it, the pro players are going to see it. So you, night, you need to be able to mix it up because if you're constantly doing the same mix up, it's no longer a mix up. It's obvious. You need to be able to change things up because yeah, it's work over and over again, but. Great. And also, same thing. If they if they keep falling for it, you know, keep doing it. But I never really once saw like end saluta uh, sun salutation pressure to kind of like help condition that a bit more. So if if Louis mixes that into it, kind of forcing people to like hug the corner a bit more and be even more afraid in, like of jumping, then that makes that setup even better. It worked. Can't deny it worked. But I would like to see a little bit more out of it. Also, one more thing. I got I got to throw back because it's been in my brain since we saw that stock that died. I actually hate the fact that every time I see Sephiroth um, do Sephiroth. like <laughs> do the the down B now, my head jumps to this old ass movie called Bring It On, where this dude is like, these are not spirit fingers, these are spirit fingers, and I can't get that out of my head now. 